Hey guys, we're going to do another video here on something called simple interest. So in my last video, um, we really focused on what happens when you put money in the bank. How do you earn interest and, and how do you calculate that interest? And it all came down to this one formula. I equals PRT. I for interest, P for principal, R for rate, and T for time, where time is in years. So, so we should, if you're watching this video, this should not be a brand new formula to you. But today I want to talk um, about loans, what a loan is. A loan is different than having a bank account. So we're going to write that word down, loan. What a loan is, is it's a way of borrowing money. So if you need to purchase or buy something big that you don't have the money for, like a car or a house, there's something you can do. You can borrow money from the bank. You can get what's called a loan. And if you do that, um, well, one, you have to have what's called a good credit score, which we can talk about later. And, and two, you have to be able to pay the bank back. You don't get to borrow money and not pay them back. Um, if you don't pay them back, that's when you get into a lot of trouble. So a loan is when you borrow money and make a plan to pay the money back to the bank. Now, why would the bank let you borrow money? I mean, that's really nice of them, but why would they do that? Well, they would do that because they're going to charge you something called interest. It, and that's where this is going to come into play. They're going to say, sure, you can buy that new car for $15,000. Here, take $15,000 and go buy your new car. But you're going to pay me interest 5%. So you're going to have to pay back that $15,000 that you borrowed, and you're going to have to pay back your interest on top of that. So the bank makes a little bit of money off of you. Sometimes they make a lot of money off of you, depending on how well you pay things off. That's what a loan is. So here's what a loan problem could look like. Let's imagine you want to borrow uh, $20,000. You're going to go out and buy yourself a new car. And the bank says, sure, here, $20,000. That's a great idea. They're going to say, okay, but we're going to charge you 6% and you have five years to pay us off. They're going to have you sign some paperwork, sign a contract that says you're willing to do this, pay the 6% and pay it in five years. Well, what does that mean for you? Well, let's look at this. Let's break this down into our formula. The $20,000 that you borrow is your principal. The 6% is your rate. And the five years is your time. So let's calculate your interest. Remember the formula, I equals PRT. In this problem, I is going to equal the principal, which is $20,000, times the rate, which is 6%. But remember how we can't times by 6%. Let's, let's move that decimal two times over. So 0 0.06 times five years. Times five years. Well, what is that? Let's do the calculation. What is 20,000 times 0 0.06 times 5? I'm going to do that on a calculator and find out here. 20,000, 1, 2, 3, times 0 0.06 times 5 years. That looks like 6,000 to me. So we're going to write I equals $6,000. Whoa, what does that mean? That means this, you, you borrowed $20,000 from the bank, you bought your brand new car, you're super happy, now you have to pay the bank back, you have five years to do it. On top of giving them $20,000 back, you're going to give them an extra $6,000. That's a payment. That's um, you paying to borrow their money. So that extra $6,000 is the money that the bank is making off of you. Um, think about it like this, you bought your car, for a total of, I'm going to write over here, total. You bought your car for a total of $20,000. But the bank gave you a loan, so now you have to add in an extra 6000 that you're paying them off with. So 20000 plus 6000 is 26000 So it's kind of tricky. You know what that means? You actually paid $26,000 for your car. You buy that nice new car, it's got a sticker price on it for $20,000 and you're like, sweet, I got a good deal or, or I'm happy with the price. Well, don't forget, you're actually paying this much for your car. It's just going to take you five years to make those payments. That's what a loan is. Now, loans aren't bad. Loans can be super good because a lot of times we don't have the money to do things that we need, like buying a house or a car. But where it gets tricky is if you do not pay your loan back, then you start getting into some trouble. 
or if you get a really high percentage rate, then you're paying a lot of extra interest dollars, and that's not good either. Let's look at a house situation. That was an, an example of a car. Let's think about a house here for a moment. All right, so let's say you're going to buy um, a $250,000 house, kind of an average to low cost for a house, $250,000. And the bank says, okay, we'll give you the money for the house, but you're going to owe us 4% interest, and we'll give you 30 years to pay this off. That's nice, 30 years, that's a long time. But what does that mean for you? How much are you actually paying for that house? Well, the 250000 is your principal, the 4% is your rate, and the 30 years is your time. Okay, well, let's use our formula. I equals PRT. This is the banking formula that the bankers are going to use when they're calculating your interest. We're going to take the 4% and move the decimal because we know that that's important so we can use that number. And we're going to rewrite the formula as I equals P for principal, that's $250,000 for your house, times 4%, so that's 0 0.04, times the 30 years they're going to give you to pay it off. 30 years. Okay, well, let's figure out what that is because whatever that interest is, you're going to have to pay also. So let's multiply this out 250,000, 250,000 times 0 0.04, that's the percentage, times 30 years. Wow, check that out. That is a lot of zeros. I see one, two, three, four, five zeros. So you're talking about paying. Three, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Check this out. You're going to pay an extra $300,000 worth of interest. Can you imagine? $300,000 of interest. The house only cost you two fifty, dollars but you have to pay the bank an extra $300,000. Think about the total cost of your house. The total cost of your house. Here it was, you thought you were getting a $250,000 home. Yeah, not really. You have to add on an extra $300,000 in interest. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of money. If you add that up, I'm going to write that down below here. Three, four, five, we're talking $5,550. $550,000, I said that wrong, for your house. So you thought you were getting a house for two fifty. dollars but by the end of your 30 years, you're actually pay paying $550,000. That's a lot of interest. So you see where the banks make their money. They make their money off letting people borrow it and then have to pay it back with extra interest. And this is the simple formula that they use to calculate that. Um, it does get more complicated than that, but just kind of the beginning steps of understanding how they go about interest. So yeah, you want to pay attention to your interest rate. The lower the percentage, the better off you're going to be at not having to pay as much back to the bank. Also, if you change the time and you decide you're going to pay off faster than 30 years, say you only want to pay your house off in 15 years, that's going to decrease that interest rate also, or that amount of interest dollars. So there's a lot of things you can do to make your loan go down. Um, but yeah, so hopefully that helps. There's going to be more videos on this, so keep an eye out for those, and I'll see you later.